I'm really proud to be here and just representing Hackney Homes so that we can demonstrate some of the rewards and recognition and some of the achievements already made by our residents, tenants and leaseholders right across the borough. And this really is dedication and appreciation of all of your hard work. If you are of the mind that the ALMO does nothing for tenants and residents, which is a common off-the-cuff saying I used to hear, I would say rubbish. Ron's and my experience of Hackney Council and then the ALMO is that they have always been solidly behind supporting and helping the tenants and residents. Sometimes it may not seem that way because they don't give you what you want, but you have to look at their side of things. And mostly, uh, we could see their difficulties in fulfilling every request put forward by tenants and residents. Finally, I would say that I know many of you already take various initiatives to encourage new blood to take up the cause. And I hope that my little speech has sparked your own thoughts on the many years you have put in and the wonderful things you have achieved. So keep at it, as it is a job worth doing. Residents like you are volunteering on your estates to bring about substantial improvements and working hard to get a real sense of community spirit. And I cannot underestimate the impact this has on our communities. Your achievements and hard work are helping Hackney Homes with the council on that critical journey to make Hackney, um, I actually have written down a better place to live and work, but I always scrub it out and put the best place to live and work in London. I really believe that about Hackney. We have an amazing borough and we must never ever uh, underestimate the, uh, the um, commitment and the people that live in this borough, despite what sometimes an odd journalist um, decides they want to, to want to say about the borough. But it is because of residents like you that we have such a vibrant community in Hackney. We have four awards. We have a, a resident group award, we have the Ron Devotee Award, Young Resident Award, and then we have the Resident of the Year. The winner goes to the Disabilities Forum. Well, the winner is uh, Terry Edwards. There's one thing I'd like to say. This is not about Terry Edwards. This is about all the tenants and residents who work so hard. And I'm very pleased to say the winner is Gabriel. I'm so proud of him for winning this award. Unfortunately, he can't be here. Uh, he's been ill all week with a tummy flu. But um, he's someone that most people in Hackney may not have heard of. After today, I hope you're all going to remember who he is. He has autism, he's non-verbal, and his achievements are amazing. All the other awards are very near and dear to me, but this one especially, I believe, uh, these people are the engine rooms of the tenants' movement in Hackney. And I'm delighted to say that the winner of the award is Irene Livington. I hope that most of you all have enjoyed this evening. I hope you would go back on your estates and inspire the young, the old, disabled, and those from whatever nationalities they become to get involved in the operations of Hackney Homes, in your TRAs. One must always remember that those of us who have been working for years in tenants movement would no longer be here for some time. Some of us are crying out for a rest. So we want the young ones, and especially the young people, to begin taking an active role in their tenants associations so that we may pass on to that pleasant, I don't mean up above, but um, of rest and quiet. I want to thank you all very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the evening and hope to see you again next year. Thank you very much and goodbye. We as a community need to continue to support residents like these and be inspired by them. And we really learned a lot 
from everybody about all of their hard work right across the last few years and hopefully for the years forward as well.